Hi, I'm Carlo Libertini. In this video, we'll briefly demonstrate the note separation tool in Melodyne's editor plugin window while using Pro Tools. Making ideal note separations means providing yourself with better accuracy and detailed editing options. This results in more creative control over your productions. Let's take a look. Here I've opened up Pro Tools and imported a demo vocal file. Let's take a listen. And you say you think I can do anything. Here we have the conventional waveform that Pro Tools presents the audio with. But to begin editing this file using Melodyne's editing tools, we need to transfer the audio into Melodyne first. So what I'll do is insert my Melodyne plugin into my vocal track. There. This is the Melodyne plugin window. And if you're already used to Melodyne and worked with it before, it should look very familiar to you. Now to simply transfer the audio into Melodyne Editor, we activate our transfer button here. And because we're going to transfer the entire wave file, I'll simply rewind my playhead to zero and hit play, and Melodyne will begin transferring the audio automatically for us. And you say you think I can do anything. Once Melodyne has transferred the audio, we can see that it is now represented in its individual pitches over time. Let's zoom in a little bit. We'll do a little comparison. Here we have the original audio representation in Track 1 in Pro Tools. And below here, we have the new representation of the same audio, but transferred within Melodyne. Now, before we begin editing this audio in Melodyne, one of the most common tools with which to begin using is called the Note Separation Tool, right located right here in the top left. And also by right-clicking anywhere in the track plane, it is the last tool, tool number six, right there. Now, why do we want to make note separations? Well, it's simple. You see, Melodyne analyzes the pitches and the length of the notes, but sometimes every performance, of course, is going to be very different. So we need to bring forth the intended performance in order to give us better accuracy with what we want to be editing here in Melodyne. And what I mean is we're going to choose our note separation tool, like so, right here, and listen back, but also watch the pitch line. The pitch line, let me zoom in, is a line that runs through each region. Now, we'll have certain anomalies like the one indicated here. So if I consciously make a note separation right here in the region, right here, we'll see that the intended performance was actually two notes. Here we have some sibilants. Let me separate this out, like so. So we're going to literally, literally walk our way through the audio, both listening if you choose, of course, but observing the pitch line and separating, there's a breath, our regions like so. This is how we bring forth the intended performance using Melodyne is to go through the performance and customize it according to what not only what we're hearing but what we're seeing because when we make a note separation like this in Melodyne this individual notes that we're now separating from the rest are individually editable here's another one here and here now there are a few more note separations I could make depending on the accuracy that I want to choose with which to bring forth the intended performance. But let's rewind our playhead now and take a listen. And you say you think I can do anything. Now that these notes are all separated, they're now individually available for editing. For example, because we edited 
this sibilance here, we can go back to our edit window in Pro Tools, like so. I'll select this area here, and we'll loop the audio, and I'll select my amplitude tool, and we'll do some de-essing. As the audio is looping back in real time, I'll massage this S down to where I find it more comfortable. And you say, and you say, and you say, and you say. There. Now that was only capable of doing that because I separated the S. Now before it was attached th to this note here, I separated the region so it's completely individually editable there. And you can see by the dialog box here that I lowered it minus 6.03 decibels. That's another wonderful feature about Melodyne that I love, is that we can actually commit our edits in real time, thus keeping things very musical and very creative. Now that we separated a lot of these regions here, as I, we just walked through previously, we can continue this process of editing throughout the entire performance. Also including our pitch tool and our timing tool. So before we begin doing any of the other edits like pitch and timing, our note separation tool is the most important because it's gonna bring forth the intended performance and give us the most with which to work from. So before you start editing any audio, I highly recommend that you get familiar with the note separation tool. Follow the pitch line running through every region and experiment. And remember, everything is completely undoable. Should you make a bad note separation, remember we have our undo buttons located here in the plugin window and our redo button located here right below it in the plugin window. This is the note separation tool and where I always begin when I'm editing using Melodyne Editor plugin. Also known as Melodyne Single Track is a powerful and creative editing tool. Hopefully you're able to see how using our note separation tool from the get-go allows us to really bring forth the notes and allow us greater accuracy with the choices we want to make. My name is Carlo Libertini. Thanks for watching.